Chris's point of view with Shirley Polk, and I see that everything is too close this morning, but I'm going to readjust it. And uh, this is point of view, and this is Saturday, which is the day before Easter, and this is the 4th of April 2015. So uh, I missed a couple of days on the, the point of view webcast. But I'm going to do it this morning, and it will be saved, so you'll be able, just in case you're watching this from the archives. It is Saturday, April the 4th, 2015. Now, one, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I uh, started uh, the webcast with uh, Do Opposites Attract? And I did get a message and said that I, it said that I was offline, and I did send a message back to Sean and tell her that I was going to have it up on the site uh, within a few minutes. But I, and then I started it again, and then I got it into uh, it. I just stopped it. So I'm going to go ahead and try my best to finish that this morning. This is point of view, and this is Saturday, and I usually do it five days a week. But I need to catch up for my satisfaction. Okay. So, do opposites attract, and I got this from MedicalDaily.com, MedicalDaily.com, do opposites attract, and this is a very interesting question, it's a very inter interesting topic, and I think a lot of people probably wonder sometimes about this, because we're told so many things in life uh, about who we should be with, who we should not be with, and everything, and some of us have, have had experiences uh bad experiences and uh, sometimes people have been opposites and sometimes people have been liked, okay, like each other and they still didn't make it. So let's see what they're saying here. And This is MedicalDaily.com. Do opposites attract? Or does like attract like in relationships? Understanding the science of love. And I want to share this. So let me just do this. Share this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to share this. But okay, I'll share it later. Now, this is, and this was uh, posted on April 15, 2014. And this is Lizette Borelli. And I think I'm saying it right. It could be Lizette Borelli or Lizette Borelli, but it's L I Z E T T E B O R R E L I, just to be sure, okay? And uh, I've gone down here and it said, in relationships, partners claim they want someone who is different, but prefer someone with the same personality. So do opposites really attract, or do birds of a feather flock together? Now, when it comes to relationships, finding the ideal partner could be easy for some and difficult for others because it's heavily dependent on the characteristics we value most in a mate. The answer to, oh my goodness, my ad popped up, my, my, my. Yeah, play this and drive. Wait a minute, let me get back to it. Okay. That's the thing about this. I should be using a stylus, but I'm getting back to it. Okay. Now, I have to be really careful. Now, when it comes to relationships, finding the ideal partner could be easy for some and difficult for others because it's heavily dependent on the characteristics we value in mo most in a mate, and that is very important. This thing is popping up again. Wow. Something about this that just doesn't want me to do this. But you know what? I'm going to finish this. I really, really am. So I'm going to go on down. Okay, now. The answer to whether opposites attract or like attracts like has been an ongoing debate that has both passed and failed. The test of time. These are our what cats, in the Wolf. World? Goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. 
I'm not going to give up because I know somebody needs this if it's not just me, okay? It could be just me that needs this, but I'm going to go on. I'm going to turn this a different way and see how this is going to roll out. Okay, there we go. The answer to whether opposites attract or like attracts like has been an ongoing debate that has been passed and failed has both passed and failed the test of time. People are often interested in whether couple similarity or complementarity is indicative of relationship outcomes, satisfaction and quality, for instance. Now, it puts into question if birds of a feather who flock together are better off than partners comparable to oil and vinegar. Okay, now, opposites attract versus like attracts like. Likes may attract better than opposites when it comes to settling down and uh, finding a mate since people subconsciously seek out mates who have similar traits as themselves. Although there are successful pairings of opposites such as TV couples Ted and Robin from How I Met Your Mother or Jay and Gloria from Modern Family, it is not unusual for couples to have a tall and short or loud and soft-spoken dyad, but this starts with a match. Initially, we like those who like us in return, say Psychology Today, which, which suggests we prefer consistency in our desires, thoughts, and attitudes. We are drawn to those who are similar to us because it affirms our own characteristics, our normal, or desire. Stacey Lynn Harp, a clinically trained marriage and family therapist in Tennessee, believes most of us attract people we have things in common with. Likeness attracts likeness. It's actually a myth that opposites attract, Harp told Medical Daily in an email. Those who are seeking people who are similar understand that long-term compatibility is more likely with someone who is like themselves. In 2000, a 2008 study published in the journal Evolutionary Psychology found individuals desired a partner who resembled them in terms of personality and also desired a complementary or complementary partner instead of a similar one when it came to general preferences. People may be attracted to those who have similar attitudes, values, and beliefs, and may even marry them based on this similarity since attitudes are highly visible and fundamental to the way people live their lives, or in the, yeah, to the way people live their lives. Personality related characteristics, however, take much longer to unfold and may not play a substantial role until later in the relationship. The formula for a happy and healthy couple, these are shared values and beliefs. The, the best formula for a happy and healthy couple is, you both share common values and ethics, you share a common core, not details of issues from your family of origin, such as you were both mistreated or you both were the least or most favorite, and you have different complementary styles and personalities in approaching life and solving problems, Dr. Leslie Beth Wish, psychologist and licensed clinical social worker in Florida, told Medical Daily in an email. It is when couples find those commonalities, especially if they are not apparent on the surface, is when they feel they found a potential lifelong partner. We tend to seek out people who think and act like us, or some of us may even be seeking our own mirror image. 
which has been found to contribute to relationship satisfaction. Newlywed couples are found to have happier and satisfying marriages when they have more in common personalities. Why? More in common personalities. Why? As op opposed to attitude. Why? A 2005 study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology investigated attitude similarity. Having the same religion or personal belief system and personality similarity, qualities like anxiety, agreeableness, extroversion, and conscientiousness between newlywed couples to determine rather to determine what makes two individuals choose to be with each other rather than with one of many other potential partners. The study supports the belief that like-minded validate like-minded people validate each other's beliefs and views and therefore this results in fewer conflicts. Now how to find a compatible partner? How to find a compatible partner. Now that we know people seek partners with, the, with their same qualities, despite the claim they want someone who is different, we ask, how do we know if we're compatible with our prospective partners? April Massimi, relationship expert at AskApril.com, believe the trick to finding compatible partners is to first and foremost know yourself. The biggest problem I see in a relation in relationship queries that are sent to me from ex for expert advice are from people who've gotten invested in relationships without knowing what they want in a relationship or even if they want one at all. Messini told Medical Daily in an email. Sometimes these people get involved with people who aren't compatible and rather than accept the fact, they try to desperately change the other person, which ends up going nowhere. Messini also believes that although the chemistry is great, it is not enough to make a relationship go the distance. Rather, values, similar goals, and similar lifestyles are much more valuable when seeking a long-term relationship. In short, we like a balance of similarities and differences, but overall we're drawn to those who possess the qualities of what we would want our, our, our ideal selves to be. We may express interest in someone who has a different job or interest than us, but this could be because there are interests there they are interests we would desire ourselves to have. This thing is acting up on me. Okay. Oh, okay. Just skipped a little bit. Okay. Now, rather, values, similar goals, and similar lifestyles are much more valuable when seeking a long-term relationship. And then I go on down to sharing values regarding money, children, education, and lifestyle, along with the desire to love, can lead to a fulfilling and long-lasting relationship. Now, we may express interest in someone who has a different job or, or interest than us, but this could be because there are interests we would desire ourselves to attain. All right, and then the sources are on here, and this website is medicaldaily.com. God bless you. I finally finished that. So it just tells us, the uh, most uh, like this last thing is key to me right here.